The performance of the day on stage one in the cars belonged to Eric van Loon. He set off in 18th after missing a turn in the prologue, but went storming through the field. Some performance from the Flying Dutchman to come fifth and go fifth overall. Like many drivers here, Vladimir Vasiliev is still getting to grips with the quick and narrow tracks around Andalusia. The Russian didn't quite get the settings right on his BMW today, but he's still pretty happy with how things are going. Last year's World Cup Bajas winner, fourth on the day and fourth in the standings. Carlos Sainz said that he's currently spending more time fighting his own car than his rally rivals. It has been a decade since he last drove in a rally 4x4, so we can forgive El Matador for being a little rusty. He and Lucas Cruz got a little bit turned around here at one point. But even if he doesn't have huge confidence in his machine, Sainz is still coming along nicely in third overall. Another day, another very solid outing for Vaidata Zala, who looks keen to establish himself as one of the top names in this discipline. The Lithuanian had a few spins here and there. He's just trying to keep his focus after a five-month break. Second on the stage today and second overall, can he take the fight to the big boys? Well, in his own words, time will tell. This man is currently the biggest boy in town. A second outing and a second victory for Nasser Alatia. He and Mathieu Bermel had a hairy moment at one point when they crossed a stranded vehicle coming in the other direction, but otherwise it was a trouble-free day for the Qatari. He took the win and leads by 1 minute and 28 seconds, heading into Friday's second stage. Yeah, it was very good, special stage, you know, and we have uh, uh, leading now and uh, yeah, it's looked like uh, in good way and uh, we, we try to do every day like this. Zala stays second behind Alatea with Sainz now 2 minutes and 41 seconds back in third.